Do 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 do. Not a rip off. <laughs> Well, channel donations have been coming in thick and fast to Mark Fix's stuff to the point where I've got no time to open them, so I decided I'm going to open them all in one go. And the only flat surface in the whole house is this couch, so understandably, this is probably going to look a bit like an Ashen's ripoff video, which it probably is. Okay, so uh, what have we got in my massive sack, which by the way is bulging? There you go. A massive sack. The mailman actually brings my post in a bag like this because there's so much of it and he leaves it on the doorstep. So, um, okay, let's see what we've got here. Ugh. Right. Okay, so bits and bobs. Uh, ideally, I haven't left any um, addresses on any of these, so let's have a quick look. We'll just clear them out of the way. I'll do them one at a time. Okay. So, oh, what's that? Don't know. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Okay, what should we do first? I know, we'll do this one. Yes, because I've got a fair idea what this is, because when I took the address thing off, it uh, showed me what it is through the label. Right, so. It's <coughs> never thought people would be interested in watching me opening packages. And this is a tun 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 space invaders sleeve for my 13 inch MacBook Pro. This is a lovely thing, I've got it a hold. So uh, let's have a quick look inside. Oh, fairly redundant bit of packaging there. Look, it's got a nice clear window with actual plastic so you can see the design through except um, yeah I can't help thinking they could have possibly saved themselves a bit of plastic because I can see the design using my eyes right let's have a look I'm deliberately using some Ashen's intonations here today oh, very very nice oh look free bit of novelty packaging okay get rid of that oh oh Right, good, brilliant. And that cost about four pounds delivered. So um, yeah, very nice. Good. To one side with you now. What's the next thing? This has come from China. Lovely. Uh, let's see what's in here. I do order a lot of stuff from China because I like tat and I like bargains and you can get both from the land rising sun okay so hang on there's two things in here first up is a small white package hmm what that possibly be let's have a look no clues on the outside we're gonna have to go in we're going in it is a pair of headphones it looks like oh yes I forgot I'd ordered these these are some very nice posh headphones and they've got a microphone built in as well um, and they cost about four pounds from China, including postage. And they're very, very good indeed. I will pop the link down there. Um, yeah, just brilliant, actually. I've had a couple of pairs of these. They've got some sort of piston base driver thingy, and it works really, really well. So, uh, pop those to one side. There's something else in this envelope, which is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, a Doogie mobile phone. It's not only about speed... Actually, I think you find it is when you've got a mobile phone. 4.5 inch with a nice feeling in hand. Extremely thin. Oh, someone's been reading my diary. 5.5 millimeter in the frame. Liquid metal design. Let's have a quick look. I'll probably end up doing a proper review of this. This is for my wife because she murdered her Samsung Galaxy and then she murdered my phone, which I let her have. That looks very nice, actually. Very nice. So that's a Doogie Turbo Mini F1 phone which will probably be really good. I think that cost about £79 or something posted from China. So lovely, nice little mobile phone thing going on there. That'll do for her as well. She's not a power user. 
I've got a new phone coming as well because she's murdered mine. Um, let's see what we've got here. Oh, I'm going to have to get a knife. Dun, 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 dun. Knife! Cool. Right, let's have a look. Oh, I know what this is as well. It is a replacement keyboard for my MacBook Pro because the one I've got has a German keyboard because I got it in Germany, which would make sense actually. And I'm just going to replace the keycaps which pop off. So no video of that, that would be fairly boring. Um, this was about $18 or something posted. And it is, as you would expect, I think this came from China as well. Um, took about five days to arrive. And uh, yeah, there we go. I'm just going to pop the keycaps off and put them onto the MacBook Pro. They come off fairly easily. You pivot them from the bottom under here, pop, and pop them on. Good. Good high quality part as well. Very impressive. Pop that to one side. Right, what next? Oh, I know what this is. I think I've already unsealed this one. Let's just check. No. Okay. This is an item for review from Future is 8 bit. Rod Hull, hilariously, on Twitter. I don't think he's on Facebook. And these are some brand new. I'm not going to ruin it now because um, these are some brand new replacement PSUs for use with Sinclair Spectrums and clones. So uh, let's have a look. But he's just got in stock. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, as you'd imagine, it's a PSU. Pop that back in the box. Okay. Heading up to the seven minute mark now. Okay, uh, next is from Spain. And this is from Spain via South Africa, uh, courtesy of Mr. Peter Edwards, who has sent me a project that we will be making a video of. Very nice. And it is from Peter Edwards. Mr. E. He's my sweet little Mr. E. Yes, lovely. Let's see what we've got in here. We have Supertronic. I don't know what that means. And it is... Mm -mm -mm, gonna need a screwdriver for this. I have to open it up. Jump cut. Unjump cut. Right. Open this up. I love the feeling of screwing in the morning. Unfortunately, it's the afternoon. So this is the component parts of the Tapiuno, which is a tap player that plugs into the Commodore 64. And it looks bloody marvelous. This is the sort of thing that I love to get my teeth into. And there's a project box and, well, hold on, let's screw down. <clears throat> Take it out so I can show you. This is very high quality. Thank you, Peter. Very nice. There you go. So it's the Tapuino. A Tapuino. I've been calling it Tapuino all this time. Tapioca. Who knows? So look, I get to solder this little bad boy together. So uh, yeah, I'll make a video of doing that, I think. Um, I'm still in the process of trying to get time to sort out our group fix of the Spectrum, but I'm sure that will come along. I'm just gonna put that all to one side. I will put that away properly in a moment. Thank you very much, Peter, and thank you very much, Antonio, for sending it on. And looks like last but not least, something else very cool something so cool that i can't even describe it in terms of coolness it's cooler than a polar bear's ball sack let's go oh you bastard go nuts right, i don't know what bit to cut next actually so well packed must be in here do -do -do. Boom, 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 boom. I'll chuck the box open and sod it. Right, so what have we got in here? Hopefully there's no letters. Let's see. First things first, open this envelope. 
And this is a uh, SCART cable which terminates in hmm, a mini DIN and a stereo 3.5 millimeter jack plug. Right, okay, so we got those. That's probably a clue for some of you out there who are gonna know what the next thing is. Here we go, YouTube. It is from Mr. Pietra Bugov, a just Specky, which is a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous ZX Spectrum clone, which has been designed by Zaxxon. And all it's going to need in here is a ULA, which can be taken from a toast rack, as if you're going to take one out of one of those, or a Grey Plus 2. And I've got a couple of Grey Plus 2s that look like they've been run over by farmers in tractors. So um, I'm going to take one from there. And then I'm going to demo using it so that people can stop asking him incredibly stupid questions on Facebook. But this looks really interesting. I'm going to pop this into a uh, 48k plus case, I think, because I've got one that um, unfortunately doesn't have a board in it, and it came to me that way. So, uh, yes, into a lovely case. Right, okay, so thank you, everybody. These are two very cool projects, which uh, I'm going to enjoy doing over the summer holidays when I have no time because I have children. And um, thank you to everybody for watching. This is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff signing out and reminding you to subscribe to get your fix. This is in no way a rip-off of Stuart Ashen's videos. Well, maybe a bit.